Hey guys, this is Jeannie, your spa girl, and I have my glass, well, actually I have my cup, a hello gorgeous cup, of Jamba Juice with peppermint from my garden. And somebody stuck this weird chair here, but peppermint straight from my garden. As you can see, I have peppermint growing everywhere and it will spread. And for some of you who didn't know, you just take the leaves and you throw them in your blender and they smell amazing. And you just blend it right in your blender. And I put it in with the Jamba Juice and I put aloe, a whole lemon and cinnamon. For eye health, one of the best things you can do is mix aloe, lemon, and cinnamon. And you can see how I've harvested this aloe. I snapped that one off this morning. You're supposed to snap them low. And I gutted it. And the skin of it, the inner skin, which is full of the chlorophyll and gel, I put all over my legs, my shoulders, my arms. And it just soaks right in. You can't even see the aloe. It just dries right in. And these are strawberries here growing. But as you can see, sometimes the aloe when you transplant it doesn't do as well. That one's doing well. And then I have peppermint everywhere. Peppermint keeps away rodents and rats. And you just break off one. I break off like four of these leaves and I eat them in the morning. That one, I've really harvested that aloe. And then I have aloe growing all around the tree here. And then I have these exotic succulents, which succulents will grow when you plop them anywhere but you don't eat the succulents but you do eat and gut the aloe you just cut off the spiny part and then you go and you take the top off and then you can use it after you've gutted it and thrown all the aloe into your smoothie here you can use the outer skin with the aloe gel on it to rub all over your body and your face. And I'm telling you, you will feel so good. It's amazing. So I do that because again, my channel's on looking and feeling younger. And if you've had eye surgery, you should always, every day if you can, have lemon, real lemon. Just take the whole lemon, peel it and throw it in your smoothie blender. And then put some cinnamon, the real cinnamon, and put like two or three shakes of it. And then gut an entire stalk of aloe. And as you can see, I also have aloe growing here in pots. But this one's very small right now, so I don't use it. I gut it a piece just to try this different type of aloe. Because aloe also has different breeds. And you can eat all of them. The gel inside that's loaded with chlorophyll and every kind of rich nutrient you can imagine if you look it up. Aloe, they've learned, even fights cancer. So it's really good if you've had a, a surgery to remove a skin cancer and you want to put something amazing over that area to keep cancer away forever, you can do it with the aloe. So I love aloe. So I do have aloe growing all over throughout my gardens, okay? And one thing about looking and feeling younger, we said is if you interview people that are in their 90s and hundreds, they garden. Gardening is healthy for the mind, body, and soul. And it just makes you feel good seeing all the bursts of color throughout your yard. You can see all the purples, the reds, the oranges, the whites, just all the different shades and the different things that come up. And it makes you feel good. So it's a feel good thing. And it's good for the air. It brings oxygen into the air and it just brings all kinds of wildlife into your yard. And again, that's why you have the peppermint because the peppermint keeps that away. It keeps away rodents. Now, looking at this, I believe this is a lavender right here. Oh my God, that smells amazing. It is a lavender. I planted a small lavender. And when I move, I hate to say it, but I'm taking out a lot of my favorite plants like that little lavender and I'm bringing it with me in a pot to my new house because as soon as I move in, I'm gonna organize an amazing garden around the house because if you wanna get in shape and you wanna be happy and healthy and be outdoors, <clears throat> that's why you work in your yard and you garden. And a lot of people also, besides gardening, will, um, mow their own lawn if it's a small yard if it's under a half acre because 
it just feels good. It's a good part of your workout. Makes you feel great. You can smell all the beautiful smells outside in your garden. Like this is Confederate Jasmine. It smells so good when it's really blooming big. And so it's really nice. It's really good to get out and garden. And even though I have a swimming pool, I don't really swim laps. So my next pool I design will be a gentle round shape and it will have a big hot tub, but it will be a very small beachy pool that's not very deep. So it'll be really easy to maintain it. But as you can see, the garden has beautiful shades everywhere. Sometimes you'll find some of the things that you plant, you may have to replant if you put them in the wrong location, like these little purple and white flowers. They're not doing as well as I want them to, and I think it's because they're kind of not getting enough sun under there. But you can see, you know, you can go around and you can, you're bending and you're reaching over and stuff in your garden, and it's just really healthy for your body. It's good. And you can add it to the, your workout. Like every day after this, I'm gonna take a five mile walk, and I kind of combine the walk with running. And then I do weightlifting. And I do weightlifting up until late at night while I watch TV. I'm lifting dumbbells. And I'm doing push-ups on the floor. And I'm doing leg lifts. So you're really basically, you are, I'd say, shaping your body. When you work it out and you get to really know your body and what works for you, you do that workout on a daily basis. And you're just maintaining your body's shape so that you don't get out of shape and start getting wide. And that allows you to be able to eat what you want too, which is nice. And again, I love having these chrysanthemums popping out. They're so pretty and they constantly come back after they bloom. So it's really a nice feature to add to your garden. And you can see I have a lot of butterfly plants and every time I go to a beach, I bring back shells, whether it's um, whether I'm in a small island, like, uh, let's see, like if I go to St. Lucia or if I'm in the Bahamas or if I'm in St. Martin, I always bring a group of shells back with me and I set them in my garden because it just makes your garden look pretty and beachy. So you'll see shells throughout my garden. Even when I see vendors walking down the beach selling conch shells, I'm always walking down the beach too, because as you know, I love to exercise. So no matter what beach I'm walking down, if I see a shell, I'll pick it up and put it in my car and then it ends up in the garden somewhere. So, you know, again, it's the constant movement during the day that will keep you in shape. You do not want to find yourself sitting at a desk on a computer. That will kill you faster than anything. It will kill your eyes. It will kill your self-esteem, your mood. Really bad for your back. So, again, you want to get out, especially now during lockdown. Get out and garden, grow beautiful roses. Use that extra money you have to go buy plants. Stick them in the ground in a strategic area in your garden. And you'll have a beautiful, pretty garden that you can go out and enjoy. And you can put all the foods in the garden that you want to eat. Like in mine, I have oregano. I take oregano every day. I put it right here into the smoothie. I have the gutted aloe. I have the peppermint. And that goes in my daily smoothie with a whole lemon. And I'm actually eating the entire lemon. And you don't really taste the aloe. You taste the peppermint a little bit. And you can taste the cinnamon. But again, the peppermint, the cinnamon, the aloe, and the lemon is all for my inner eyes. And it goes right into the smoothie. But like I said, an added feature is that peppermint is a great antioxidant as well as the aloe. And has different properties that are known to actually fight cancer. Which is amazing. Now, it's funny. I went to pull these out. I thought that was a weed the other day. And then I remembered it's my oregano. I have oregano growing right underneath the peppermint. And as you can see, they're very similar, but the leaves are different. But in color, they're very similar, so it kind of hid. But you can eat these, and it's oregano, and I can eat the cinnamon. 
But you have to be careful if you're married to someone who uses bug spray. I mean, weed killer. I saw him walking around squirting weed killer on everything yesterday. And you definitely don't want to be eating anything that's had weed killer put on it. So you got to watch that with men. Oh my God, the oregano tastes so oregano-y. Oh. I take gel tablets of oregano and it tastes a lot better than this um, fresh oregano. And again, I already have my workout clothes on and I am ready to go running today. So I'm going to go in and lift dumbbells out here in the pool deck on that little rug there. And then when I'm done lifting dumbbells, my husband will be ready and we'll go for a five mile walk run to the river and back. And then I'm heading to Jacksonville today to spend a couple days at my daughter's house and run around her lifestyle neighborhood that has everything. Basically, they have a lazy river and everything else for the kids and a full service gym, but I don't know if everything's open yet. They were thinking about opening it, but what happened is the builders built over like 3,000 homes in that neighborhood. So you could imagine if just two people use the facilities from each house, that's 6,000 people using one gym. So it's gonna be too crowded. So that's why I bought my own things. I have my own dumbbells, my own Hulk Fit bar, and I have bikes, and I have um, the ability to get out and run or walk. And that's all you need. And then you can garden. And like I've already started planting garden plants around her house, but she's not into the bright colors like me. She just wants sparse little flowers. She's not really into gardening at all. She's more of the sit behind the computer person. So I'm going to do most of her gardening. This is your spa girl talking about how to look and feel younger. Guys, make that smoothie. And if you're a little lazy and you don't want to go buy all the fresh fruit that's frozen, I mean frozen fruit, I should say, that's all organic. Like I buy bags of organic mixed fruit and organic blueberries. You can go ahead and use fresh too. You can use all your fresh fruit. Like if you have a baby, use all his fruit leftovers in the morning in your smoothie. Use his bananas, his pineapple, his blueberries on his tray that he hasn't eaten and throw it into your smoothie. You can do that too, but get out there and get some aloe. Aloe is really cheap to buy in a store and gut it. Aloe is like the holy grail. It's the best thing for your eyes and your body that you can eat. If you gut it and eat the inside only, the clear part of the aloe, it's delicious in your smoothies. You won't really taste it, but it's just the best health boost in the morning you can have. And then the peppermint, so easy. You can buy peppermint at Publix, not Publix. You can buy it at Walmart, I'm sorry, and plant it in your garden. And you'll see I have it throughout my garden. It gets rid of rodents and stuff. I even have peppermint growing somewhere back in here on this side garden too. But a lot of times your peppermint will end up underneath your flowers. When your flowers get really big, they'll take over. And so I know I have peppermint here but I'd have to look for it because I actually planted it all around my yard because I wanted to make sure I didn't get any mice or rodents. But you'll know when you see the peppermint because it's really leafy. And mine, like I said, is back behind all this. I even have elephant ears that pop up in the garden. So sometimes you forget where you put things and you get them coming up sporadically. But just work out, get out in your garden. I'm gonna probably mow the lawn today. As you can see, I just have a little strip in the back and a small front yard. I can literally mow my yard in 15 minutes. And it's good, it feels great to get out in the sun, wear a baseball cap and mow. And guys, the whole secret to long life, ask anyone who's lived over 90. I'm celebrating my mom's 90th birthday this Saturday is get out there and garden. Garden and exercise and don't be stagnant. Never lay on a couch. The moment you lay on a couch, if you ever notice, you can lay on it for 10 to 15 minutes. The minute you get up, you feel all achy because our bodies are machines and they're meant to be on the go until bedtime when you lay down. And 
and it's worth getting an organic nice soft mattress too this is your spa girl love you guys keep working out stay in shape and don't forget to make your hello gorgeous smoothie bye